Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're doing something that we haven't done in a long time, but it's always something that I like to revisit because it keeps you guys updated with what's going on with the current car market here locally in Japan. So we're gonna be checking out one of Japan's biggest dealerships or car yards to give you all an update on what the current prices are of all of these crazy Japanese sports cars that we know and love. Look at that lineup of GC8s right there. So this particular dealership here is called GTNet and they're well known for pretty much selling Skyline's GTRs, Sylvia's S chassis, RX-7 FDs, there's a bunch of stuff here, there's even I think uh, Toyota Chases and all that kind of stuff here. So pretty much everything you want, Type R, Civics and Euro R's and everything, 350Zs, it's great. Look at this MR2, this is awesome. Anyway, so we're gonna go around and look at some of these cars, what they're selling for locally here. You can see this RX-7, beautiful nice blue one. Ooh, love that wing. See, they, they want about uh, 4 million yen for it. Now the current exchange rate, once upon a time we used to just add, uh, like take away two zeros and that would get you roughly where you want it to be. But obviously the USD is a lot stronger than the yen right now. Um, so we could go and say that this will be roughly in like the 38 to 39 grand mark. It's probably still gonna be a lot lower, but this is the local like selling price. So if you were to come here and buy this card, that's what you would be, be paying. This one's selling for about 5.2 million yen. So that would be probably around the 48 grand mark or 49 grand mark. And then kind of things like progressively get better, like especially when it comes to like the MR2, 350Z is only 1.2, this is 2.2. So I'm just gonna kind of like round it closer, like close to where I think it's gonna be ballpark wise USD. Um, this is kind of cool. Nice GC8. Ooh. Hey yo. For uh, 3.1, so that's gonna be like 28 grand. This is actually really nice. Wait, wait. Isn't this like an R type or whatever? Like series six or something like that? What the actual hell? It is. It's an RA. Oh my gosh. That's actually kind of cool. It's actually very fairly priced too. Interior looks the usual kind of, uh, you know, good for its age, but obviously it's good though that the gauge cluster, none of that's been messed around with actually. That's actually really nice. This is a really nice condition car. Does it say how many kilometers it's done? 103,000 kilometers. Oh, it is. Yes, yeah, the type six RA edition. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Wow, that's actually really nice. GC8s, I've been eyeing them for a while, mainly because I'm storing atoms in my shop. And this is, a, I guess, like a normal GC8 SDI, and they only want 1.8 for this, which would be like 15 grand. Actually, probably a little cheaper, and that's done 173,000 Ks and nearly 200,000, wow. Damn. I'm sure some of you guys are excited to see these cars and for honestly how cheap they're selling for compared to everywhere else in the world, but definitely not as excited as I am to tell you about today's sponsor. Be forward. If you're looking to export a car out of Japan, they are the company for you because they are Japan's biggest car exporter. Last year alone, B Ford shipped over 120,000 cars to the five continents of the globe. What's actually really interesting is a lot of importers in the USA are actually using B Ford. So you guys can just skip the middleman entirely and go direct. Their services are very easy to use. You can search and find cars very easily on their website. Multiple photos are provided and all the information you want is clearly shown to you, no BS. As you guys know, B Forward supports us in our Formula Drift program. So I wanted to work with them and do something special for you guys for your first car purchase through them. All you need to do in the checkout is use the coupon code SEMIT. You're gonna get $100 off on your first car and they're gonna put a special surprise gift in with the car when it exports out of Japan. But the best thing is, is for the next month, B Ford is also running a very special campaign. If you sign up through the link in the description below, you'll have a chance to win up to 15,000 B Ford points, which is enough for you to purchase one car with. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely like a free car. So once again, make sure you check out the link down in the description and use coupon code SEMIT when you check out so that you get that $100 off your first car purchase, plus that free special gift they'll throw in the car for you. And don't forget to also sign up for an account so you get the chance of winning those points, which could potentially lead to you buying your dream car for absolutely zero. Thank you, B Ford, for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. We got ourselves a nice 33 GTR here. 
silver. They want 4.9 mil for it, which is gonna roughly probably be around, like I'm just gonna say like about 45K. And this has only done 95,000 kilometers, so it's pretty nice. It's pretty low kilometers. Headlights look good too. They don't look, uh, they don't look faded or anything. It looks rather nice. We've got this really nice S15 spec R here and roughly this is 2.6 mil. It's done 100,000 kilometers. It's actually pretty clean overall. It's really nice. Um, yeah, so that, that would be like roughly around like 23, 24 grand, give or take. That's actually pretty good. That's actually really good pricing. Um, the pricing of these has just been going up and up and up like crazy. And um, it's crazy that this is how cheap a dealership is selling one of these for. And this is actually really clean. Quite nice. Headlights are in really good condition. The paint looks really good. I don't see too much paint fade. This would come up really nice. A couple little dings here and there from like car parks and doors hitting it. But yeah, overall this is quite nice. I don't see any indication of rust. I'd have to pop the hood to really inspect it, but this is really, really nice. I actually really loved seeing this here and the price that they have listed for it because it's not crazily marked up. And that's the local market here in Japan. GTNet is very popular. It's a very well known place that you go and buy sports cars here in Japan like this. And to see them selling it for around that 24 grand mark isn't a huge markup and that's really, really good. Obviously the world and the current situation we're in, we're heading for a recession. <laughs> so things are a little hectic right now and I think people are gonna obviously try to get rid of stock while they can, but the fact that you're seeing these for way more crazier higher markups from other fake exporters here in Japan, and let me explain what I meant by fake exporters. I'm gonna make an entire video on this and we're gonna get a bunch of legitimate exporters all involved in the video, which is gonna be really good. You'll have to wait for that. But for now, there are a bunch of fake exporters that kind of are what I call scalpers. Just like, I guess the closest thing I can reference this to is like the 3000 NVIDIA graphics cards, right? But there was a massive issue with scalpers on that because there was a huge demand, there wasn't many made, and they everyone just grabbed them and tried selling them for crazy amounts of money and it didn't really work that well for them in the end. But that aside, what's happening here in Japan is the same thing. A bunch of opportunists or scalpers move to Japan or on temporary visas and all that kind of stuff, have no real registered business. They're using like friends to rent property to then store these cars in to wait till they're 25 years old to export them. So there's no business insurance. If they have no real business, no real business insurance, what's protecting the customer's assets or the customer's cars? So that's a huge red flag in itself. Um, most of them are doing tax evasion. They're not actually a real registered business in Japan, so they're not paying taxes. So if they do get caught and get in trouble and the cars get seized, there's no like way to hold them accountable for that. There's so many red flags, it's actually very, very scary. But what's the funniest thing out of all of them is real exporters don't make their money on crazy high markups on cars. Real exporters make their money by a refund that the government gives them when the car is registered for export. What that means is the whole value of the car, 10% of that is refunded to the exporter. So exporters make their money, real exporters make their money by quantity. So when it comes to selling these Japanese sports cars, that's just a small percentage. The most of the money is made in you know, shipping these cars elsewhere in the world, massive amounts of quantity, which is why it's so much better to work with real, genuine exporters, just like B Forward. This part isn't part of the sponsorship and how I work with them, but it's just a good way to tag them in because they're a genuine company that do this. So if you ever see an exporter in Japan with crazy high markup prices, really the main thing you need to check is do a quick price search. See what locally these cars are selling for at places like GTNet, check on GooNet, all that kind of thing. Check on B Forward's website. That's a good way to, to get an indication if you're getting ripped off. And then, before you go through and pay any money, check for registration proof of business. Check that they have business insurance if you're storing the car there. Check that they are legitimate, have good reviews online. And another thing that you should really, really look into checking is in Japan, there's a specific certification that you need from like your local government office that says that you're even allowed to sell a car. Most people don't even know about that who are here just being an opportunist or a scalper trying to take advantage of the market. So just be very careful out there. Let's get back onto looking at these cars. This RX-7 FD is beautiful. It's definitely been repainted. It's white. It's got Ganadors though. It's kind of nice. They want 5.4 million for this one. It's done only 80,000 kilometers, so that's pretty crazy. It's also a Spirit R, so that kind of explains why it's a little bit more expensive. The respray kind of bothers me. Um, I mean, 
Actually, this may not be a respray. I think this has just been very heavily cut polished because I'm seeing a lot of rock chips now that I look at it closer. Yeah, it's a really, really deep cut and polish. This could use a respray now that I look closer at it, but pretty good condition spirit are to be honest. Bunch of gauges on the dash, looks good. I like, I, the front bump is cool, but I'd prefer OEM. It's not bad. For a Spirit R, that's actually a very fair price. It's got Ganadors as well. There's a few more RX-7s lined up in the front. Let's take a look at those. Ooh, JZX-110, NA Miata. Wait, GR Yaris? Oh my gosh, they only want 2.6 mil for that? That's like 23 grand. 17,000 kilometers? Oh, it's automatic. That's why it's cheap. That's crazy that these things are already this cheap, even in an automatic form. Ooh, another 33 GDR. GDR, as we'd say in Australia. <laughs> 32 GTR. Oof. Ooh, please do not touch the pricing sheets under that. So there's a good chance this is under negotiation right now. But yikes, does that look bad in the corner there? Is it in this corner too? Oof. This side looks really, really bad actually. I think this is called the A pillar, the front pillar. I don't know how bad you can see that, but the panel's separating and there's a fair bit of rust in there. That's a little scary. Um, things you gotta look out for on these older cars for sure. This one they want 5.9 mil for. I believe that that could, 5.9, so that's like 51, 52 I think. Um, just correct me in the comment section guys. Obviously I'm telling you the JPY, the, the yen. So just throw it in Google to see what the current rate is because it's fluctuating so much. Like. Only a cut, like only like a year ago, I think when I was last filming here, it was almost like one to one. You just take off two zeros, but it's changed so much. 117,000 kilometers. This is really nice 32 GDR. Gunmetal gray. It looks in really good condition. Interior looks amazing. It's done 117,000 Ks, but it looks better. This was very well looked after. Oof. It's hard to see inside with all the dust and the reflection, but it's beautiful. It's kind of worth that price with the current market, I think. Could, be, could drop down a little cheaper. Anyways, let's good look at these RX-7s in the front line. Loving the Advan RGDs. Beautiful. All right, so we've got kind of this midnight green one here. This is a Spirit R as well, 70,000 kilometers, but this is, what, only four mil? Why is this a million yen cheaper than that one? Huh. I kind of, I the paint's not in the greatest condition on this. It's got stock mirrors. It's in more stock form. I'd kind of almost rather this than the other one, but I don't know. We'd have to look under the engine bay and look at other condition, but this is nice. 70,000 Ks, four mil, that's like 35 grand. That's cheap, the current market on these things. Dude, I think the pricing's kind of come down a fair bit. 4.9 mil for this one, 78,000 kilometers RS. Damn, this one's clean. It's done low miles. Beautiful, nice black one. I'd probably say maybe the like dark green color is not so desirable, I think. These are getting so cheap now, the all, the first gen 8.6s. This is like 1.4 mil, it's like 10 grand. This one's 1 1.2 mil, <laughs> crazy cheap. Are these manual too? How many Ks has this done? 97,000 Ks manual? Dude, that's so cheap. Jeez, these are 100% the new Ash chassis coming soon. Oof. This Type 6 is killing me. So beautiful. And I can't get over how fair that price is. I've seen some of these selling for like upwards of 7, 8 mil, depending on the condition. We got a DC2 Integra here. Wow, this is actually really cheap. 1.7 mil, 123. Wait, this is kind of cool. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 6 kilometers. Damn it. If only it was 5, 6, not 9, 6. That's kind of cool. 1.7 mil, that's like, what, I don't know, 15 grand? USD, carbon fiber hood, that's sick. How many Ks did it say it's done? Oh, we just read that, 123. This one is a little bit more expensive. I'd say this is probably a lot cheaper just because it's a little bit more modified and slightly kind of stripped out interior. This one's 2.6 mil. It's done only 116,000 kilometers. Type R, really nice. This one's just a lot more stock, less modified. It's probably worth a little bit more. Oh, the interior is way nicer in this one, actually. Oh, nice. Got the newer Type R over here. 
This thing's got 65,000 Ks, 3.9 mil. So I feel like, I don't know, 35 grand, maybe a little less. There's a really good range here of cars. You could probably come here and find something you like and go home with something nice. It's like a one-stop place. Oof. Got this little uh, hatch. WRX STI, 113,000 Ks, 1.8 million. Is it manual? It is, manual. 1.8 mil. So that's like 15K. That's cheap. So I think we're getting into a little bit more expensive category. So that A80 Supers over here. Actually not bad. Not bad at all. So this is an SZ, 67,000 Ks. That's so low mileage. 4.1 million yen. So that's probably about like 35 grand mark. Damn, old TRD wheels too. Over here, 33 GDR, no pricing in the dashboard, so it's probably under negotiation. And this A80 has no pricing in the window either, but its interior is being pulled apart and rebuilt, so that'll probably be for sale in a couple days. This is a new FL5, I think, right? That looks nice with the black and orange eccentrics. Kind of dig that. Ooh, look, Type R EK Civic. This is under negotiation. It's on the lift, getting some work done probably. Yeah, under negotiation. It's kind of nice. Black, still got the red seats, I dig that. It's clean. Couple Evo 10s here, why is that? Oh, that's the GSR. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, why is that only like 15K? This one's 6.2, that makes more sense. 42,000 kilometers, it's like 50K. Oh, look at this Swift, new edition. 1.7, damn, that's a really good price. That's actually nice. How funny would it be if I went home with this? Hmm. Grade five at auction, so yeah, it's clean. Beautiful. I love the new versions of these so much. I wanna get a black one so bad. Oh, S2000s. Yo, these have dropped so much recently. Look at this one, 2.9 mil. This one is 4.5 mil, so this one's worth a bit more. 49,000 Ks, S2000. That's, that's actually damn good, low mileage, so I guess that makes sense why it's so expensive. So that'd be like, what, 30 grand or so? Uh, 4.5, so more like 39. This one's 2.9, nice red one. And this is done nearly 100,000 kilometers at 96. Yeah, these are both manuals. I think this might be, how do I know the difference between AP1 and AP2? I think it's headlights, right? This is kind of, yeah, it's got the different headlight, like the older headlight, and then this one has like the cooler one. So this is probably why this is more expensive. AP2 is worth more. Nice. Got a 370Z here next to a 350Z. This is 1.9 million yen. It's done 59,000 kilometers. Manual, of course. That's actually pretty good. 1.9 mil, so that'd be like 15 grand USD, give or take. This one's 1 1.2 mil. This looks like a track edition, because it's got the Brembos and um, the leather interior too. 94,000 kilometers, manual, 1.2 mil. So that would be roughly, uh, it's harder because like obviously the less money it is, it's harder to get it more accurate. But like, I don't know, I'd say that'd probably be worth about 10 grand USD. Roughly, roughly. All right, but you know what? I'm gonna Google that real quick. Wow, I did not realize that the yen was doing that bad. That's 8.7 grand? What? That's kind of really good. Jeez. Wait, so hang on, hang on. Let's look at this RX-7 FD, 83,000 kilometers. Let's change this to 4.1 million yen. Yo, that's actually pretty good, 29K. Not bad. So I hope that gives you guys like a good perspective on everything and what the kind of market is doing here in Japan at a local dealership. So that's them with their markup and what these cars are selling for on the lot. That's not private sales, which would be cheaper. That's not auctions, that would be very cheaper. That is local sales here in Japan. This is something you kind of get used to in Japan. Full like farming, agriculture and car yard. We're back at the shop now guys, and I wanted to just show you what's going on with the Bogan 32. 
Um, things are going ahead very quickly with the piping. We had kavi san here today and he just kind of measured and looked at everything. He's actually going to bring his welder and saw and stuff here because it's just easier and he shops around the corner. So he's going to be here tomorrow and we're going to have all the piping done, down pipe, intake, charge piping, everything. So this thing will be mint. We're also expected to get those valve springs tomorrow. But that all aside, I actually have something very, very special that I want to talk to you about. Everybody needs a turbo in your life. Even if you don't have a car or anything like that to put it on, everyone just wants to look like this guy. So we're doing something really special for you guys. Right here, I have $50,000 worth of Garrett turbos. Yes, my friends, for the next 10 days and 10 days only, we're gonna be throwing in one of these for free in a random order every single day for the next 10 days. In fact, actually, everyone's getting a free gift if you place an order on Samit.net for the next 10 days, but one of you will get one of these turbos. We have everything from G25 550s, G36 60s, G37 hundreds, G39 hundreds, and G35 950s, all the way to a G40 11. 50. That's 1,150 horsepower. I don't know what you guys are gonna do with it, but that's up to you. So guys, head to summit.net right now and place yourself an order for the next 10 days. Everyone's getting a free gift in their order. And one of you lucky ones every single day will be getting a Garrett Turbo. Good luck everybody. And I cannot wait to see what some of you do with these. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video learning about the car market and what the dealerships are doing locally here in Japan. I think it's super important to check prices and just watch the market in general and see what it does considering it does seem like we're heading for a recession and the whole state that the world's in right now coming out of COVID. But that aside, I hope you guys are as excited as I I am with the Garrett Turbo giveaway. I know tons of you guys have incredible builds and I hope they go to some of you. As well as with the turbos, we did them without rear housings. And the reason for this is because everyone has different exhaust manifolds or different engines and stuff like that. And depending on what engine you have or exhaust manifold will depend on what rear housing you get, depending on the size and how much power you wanna make as or end response, as well as what exhaust manifold flange you have, V-band, T3, T4, and all that type of stuff. So what we did was we made sure every turbo actually is just like the super core. So front housing with the core and all you guys need to do if you win one of the turbos is just get a rear housing for it. They're fairly cheap and get a housing that suits your build. That's one thing that is super important because if we just sent them all with generic housings and you guys got that and then you put like say a big housing on like a small SR or something like that, then it's gonna be super laggy and you're not gonna have a good experience. So my thought process was to just to make sure that you guys get the most expensive part and all you gotta do is get a rear housing that suits your build and then you're good to go. But anyways, with that guys, smash the like button, write the comment and subscribe. Wish you all the best of luck and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.